Well, good evening, everyone. Uh, we are certainly dealing with the rain for the next several hours. Uh, not the best travel conditions, but uh, if you don't mind uh, traveling in the rain, then uh, yeah, go for it. Uh, we're taking a live look right now in New Haven, uh, the Pearl Harbor Memorial Bridge. Uh, folks out and about tonight, it's 51 degrees. At least it's mild, not a cold, cold rain. East wind blowing at 11 miles per hour. As we take a look at the live view in stores, again, hard to see some low clouds. We'll give you a first alert for patchy areas of fog going through tonight. So let's take a look at what's happening on first alert live radar. We've been seeing a steady rain but at times the intensity has picked up and it has been heavy to moderate and we're tracking a couple areas of that heavy to moderate rainfall that is uh, lifting north and eastward. Uh, one area where it is coming down Enfield to Summers all the way eastward towards a Woodstock. So again that these uh, downpours will be lifting on out. Our exclusive product here the future scan one hour from now well basically in the next 20 minutes uh, that heavier rain will be moving out out, at least across that location. Let's take a tour down to the south where we have the uh, steadier rain that has moved into New Haven, Hamden, uh, Guilford, starting to build up towards Wallingford, eventually Middletown. In the next hour, we'll be watching this uh, cut across, uh, let's see, I-91, also uh, Route 9, and this is going to be getting up close to uh, Middletown, all the way down through New London through the next hour. So that's your little radar tour. Uh, the big picture shows this large area of rain. Well, that is going to be moving through tonight. Low pressure is going to be tracking away from us eventually. So wrapping up probably around the midnight time frame. And as we take a look at how much, well, some spots could get close to two inches, not out of the question where you see the red, but it's a really it's a half an inch to an inch and a half of rainfall. So certainly wet pause tonight. Uh, that uh, chance decreases tomorrow. Still a damp ground. Monday's dry, and then we'll have that chance for the puppies to have the wet pause again on Tuesday because of more rain. Right now it's in the 40s. The exception would be New Haven into the low 50s tonight. Not a very cold night falling into the 40s generally. A few upper 30s across Litchfield County. Check out the highs though. We're going to see sunshine returning and readings in the mid and upper 50s. That's something we typically see closer to April. April 14th and normal high is 60 degrees. Uh, we'll be very lovely in the temperature department uh, both tomorrow and Monday. But rain showers will be returning Tuesday. Uh, we'll be watching also another system Wednesday, Thursday time frame. As you can see, the model is not completely in agreement uh, with the rain. Here's uh, Wednesday night. And then as we get into Thursday, even models have been hinting at some wintry precipitation. So a lot to figure out. And once that forecast becomes more certain, we'll be sure to first alert you. What we do know about Thursday, temperatures will be falling throughout the day, so that high occurs early in the day. Uh, looking ahead towards the next weekend, for right now, we're calling it mostly cloudy by Saturday, but uh, very warm temperatures ahead. And if you want to keep up with the rain, you can do so through the WFSB First Alert Weather app. Brian? All right, thanks, Joe.